I wanted a richly flavored kitchen sink pasta, and this is how I made it. I found these shallots in the clearance section of my local grocery store and thought, mm, I know what would go good with this. So I added garlic, a real mild chili, and my mouth was craving lemon juice. I don't know why, I just wanted it. And my hands were tired from all the soap making, so I blended it up in the smoothie maker and I added it to the cooking tallow of the GoFundMe batch. Because this is mom cooking where I get the most amount of flavor for the least amount of effort. Now I sauteed that all down while adding a little bit of sea salt along with some cracked black pepper and smoked paprika because smoked paprika is everything. After that, I turned down the heat and I added my tomatoes because, I mean, you need tomatoes. Then I went out and got some fresh oregano. Again, if it's not fresh, I don't want it because there's something about dried oregano that I just don't like. Also, I added ground mustard seed because mm, it looked good to me today. And this is why I call it kitchen sink pasta because I just keep throwing everything in like this brown sugar until it tastes the way I want it to taste. Everything but the kitchen sink. And I just keep taste testing because every time I cook it, I want something different. It's never the same way twice. So this time I added mushrooms, a little extra knob of butter, and that really wasn't it. I needed some more things. So I added more tomatoes, tasted it, added some kale. And then I thought this tastes really good, but it needs some chicken. We had some leftover roast chicken and it was right about now I knew it was done. All oh, this tastes so good. And I hope this encourages you. You don't have to season your food the way everybody else does. Do what makes you happy. Do what you want, get what you want. And this time, I got what I wanted.